Hi, and welcome back to Let's Play Lime and Lana, where once again we are unlocking hard mode. For disobeying the warning, skulls everywhere, and an Anubis, and lots of slimy, oozy things. So today, we are going to be solving a bunch of puzzles, getting a new weapon, getting an, our first sub weapon. First, yeah, I don't have a sub weapon yet. Oh, and look at Zelpud once again. Oh, that's just him telling us about the secret of the mausoleum of the giants. I don't feel like reading those at the moment. For now, uh, what are we gonna do first? Check this pot, which I had not yet opened. Jump down here, look for more pots. And over here for more pots and a chest we can't open. Yes, there was a raised platform switch thing, but we have to do something else before we do that. So let's... no money. Alright. Apparently I never actually scanned the surface... or the guidance gate grail point. Go me. I need to come back up here anyway, however, so... Sold out. Huh. Apparently I need to find those somewhere. As I said, I will be looking at the wiki a little bit. I kind of hadn't realized I needed to find them before I could buy them. Ah, yes, I remember. The Room of Courage. It's like, read one line on the wiki quick and... Oh, yeah, that's what we gotta do. It's one of the first things you actually find playing the game, and I, it was probably like four or five months ago since I've gotten them last, so I kind of forgot. Oh well. So let's head to that room after we scan and gain access to this Grail Shrine. Behold the Gate of Guidance. Yes, now we can teleport here. With hard mode unlocked, let's go ahead and just save once again. I'm, gonna be, I'm going to be doing that quite often whenever I pass one of these, at least for the foreseeable future. Is it over here? I think it's over this way. I don't really remember. <sighs> and yet another situation where I really miss my feather. Here we go. This is what we're looking for. Just head over here. Head down this way. I guess that these who have... I guess that those who have courage can obtain weapons, but if I jump into those spikes, I'll die. Nope, not quite. And with that, the shurikens. And I do want that pot. Money. Lovely, lovely, beautiful money. The shuriken. And... Oh, fun. The weapon inside the ruins. It's me. Sometimes there are weapons hidden inside the ruins. They look normal, but being weapons from the ruins, they're a bit funny. You can't use the weapons without ammo. Collect ammo that matches the shape of each weapon. Once you do that, you'll be able to use your weapons. Alright. And, of course, it rings again because we have other mail. I will get to that eventually. For now, we are going to head to... somewhere. Actually, we're gonna do... Oh, shut up, Zelpud. We're gonna head to the surface. We are gonna get the Yagu map reader. Because I do like being able to use the map. It is convenient being able to see where I am and compared to where I need to go. Uh, and I went to the wrong tent. Tent number two. 20 weights, and I will just stock up on shurikens with the remainder of my money. Let's head back to the gate. The gate of the giant's mausoleum. Going with the gate of guidance. Need to go to the room of the rats. Sort of the way to the uh, giant's mausoleum, but we're going to be making one different turn that will lead us to a different area. After we get the knife, we will start on puzzles in the gate of guidance. 
Da -da -da. Let's go this way. I am just totally gonna fall in the pit. Yay for invincibility frames, saving me from spikes of doom. And as it turns out, this is the room I want to go to anyway. Another pot in theory containing money. Or nothing. Oh well. Welcome to the Temple of the Sun. And say hello to Catball and friends. Not a ton of difference yet. Ah, yes. Uh, I don't know if I can actually knock that down just yet. Oh, man. Alright, so Catball hurts, evidently. Let's try this again. I am so used to having full health. Or full health. All sorts of upgrades and stuff that, uh. Normally I can one shot Catball. Or Cat and his ball. Who is so cleverly called Catball when combined. Oh, gravity. Always making the Meza go splat. Another shuriken, yay. Still gonna be empty? Still empty. I believe they're actually, like, predefined as to what's in them. Here, let's try this again. Alright, I have to actually do something for that first. I wanna say Catball is moving a lot quicker than he would normally, or it would normally. Right, let's go and I believe that's the map and I could technically get that already. And then that ball, the cat ball, apparently I one hit. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, these little slopes, so we don't have an item that'll let let us get over those too easily. Now the fun begins. Notice the eye in the kind of middle of the screen. By the bottom right cat ball. Or by the right cat ball, it's not really at the bottom. There's one, two, and three. I got that amazingly quickly compared to what uh, it took the first time I went through this. Apparently my shuriken skills have improved. And they have actually improved substantially. And we have unlocked the knife now just to obtain it. Aim and shoot. Yeah, we did that already. I'm kind of undecided about how I'm going to do tablets in this playthrough. I kind of did most of them in the first one. So, I don't know. Ah, the ball. And I lost my coin. And now I kind of regret uh, spending my money. Because I believe I can get the... No, I can't. Is that Gilded EXE or Bounce? Text track. While convenient, I'm not going to get a ton of use out of that. So, I am low on health. However, I am close to getting an experience level. Oh, and there's an Anubis already trying to kill us. It's like, where should we go? Or should we just, in fact, head to the Gate of Guidance as planned? You know what? No go on the exploration, the trick to the Temple of the Sun. The Holy Grail is useful, don't you feel stronger holding that orb? Hey, it's- hey there, it's me. Blah blah blah. Treasured, gated guidance, sacred orb, increases health. Don't eat it. Good advice. Must be done exploring the gated guidance, not quite, blah blah blah. Grail, tablets, warping, blah blah blah. Yes, we can teleport using the Holy Grail, which we obtained already. Secret of the Muslim of the Giants, it's me! In the Mausoleum of the Giants, there's a stone tablet that talks about the history of the Giants. Be sure to read it. There's no other way to learn the names of the leaders and their history. It's me. I believe there is a trolley hanging at the top of the Temple of the Sun. And I think you gotta chop it down. Cut. Yeah, words. And I think you gotta cut it down, but I don't know any of the details. No go on the exploration. It's me. In the ruins, there are some areas or rooms that you can't get into. Brute force ain't the way to get to those places. If you keep on collecting treasure and solving puzzles, eventually you'll make it there. Good advice, Zelpud, good advice. And I believe that should be the last mail we get for the moment. So let's move on. And we have the knife. I love the knife. It's nice and quick and 
no fuss about it. And I it actually I think it's a little stronger than the whip as well. Or I just got used to the slightly stronger enemies in the Mausoleum of the Giants for all two minutes I was there. Uh, and the Temple of the Sun. Alright, now I would... Alright. Apparently we're going back to that room. And there's my level up soul. Which I can't get at the moment. Because it was hidden behind that block. Oh well. And this should be fun. It's gonna be like the first hard mode challenge. Getting up to that ledge, and I'm going to need to ride this platform up. The slimes up in that top room, not normally they are in normal mode. In this room and the one below us, they usually are. But this is hard mode, we shouldn't shun away from challenges. And jump for it, there we go. Somewhere in the ruins, it might be the one at the top left, there is a tablet that hints to the fact that there is an invis invisible platform here. I did not read it. I know it's there, so... Yeah. And one more tablet. Or pedestal. And we did something somewhere. A lot of these puzzles aren't always the most straightforward as to what they are doing and unlocking. So, sometimes you just gotta kinda wander around until you find something p remotely puzzle-like, and just go from there. And sometimes they're not exactly terribly difficult to find. Like that one, it's actually hinted to by the skeleton, but it's still not the most obvious thing to, you know, try walking into the wall behind the skeleton. Ugh, I really need to get one more bit of experience. I level up and I don't die. I think those red skeletons are... Oh no, the bats. Oh, there is a red skeleton again. What do I know? Come on. Just one of you needs to give me it. Just one. Not too much to ask. Come on, bats. Play coins. That's an acceptable alternative, I guess. Alright. Block puzzle time. Fairly simple, straightforward block puzzle. I just wish we had the gauntlets so we could move these a little more quickly. I think it's the gauntlets. Here's an item somewhere that allows you to push the blocks more quickly. Oh, this should be fun. Is it from here? No, not gonna happen. There we go. Third try. Yep, yeah, stuff. Just, just stuff. And one more. Push all the way over to the side. There we go. And there's a tablet to, to go put a weight on. And with that, we open the passage to the boss. We cannot actually fight the boss at the moment because we don't have an Ankh Jewel. So we need to rectify that before we try and go on. Uh, where else? Ah, the armor, shield, helmet. Pitfall of doom and death and suffering. And I... The spikes didn't pop up, that's good. You know what, I'm just gonna go this way. Kill the skeleton from under the platform. Hope for experience. There it is, level up. Have a lot of experience too, for that matter. Alright, we're full health. We are at full health, even. And sometimes full, complete sentences... Sometimes full and complete sentences are good. I am just all over the place with words today. I'm trying to talk too quick, which is part of the problem. Sometimes you just need to take a breath, slow down how quick you're speaking, and just speak normally. There's a puzzle here in this room. The hint for which is here in this room. Guild detects hidden stores and stuff, and the ghost is trying to scare us into buying stuff. I will not buy into such antics. Sad tell the yeah, blah blah blah. Sad tell the giants. Empty tablet. 
Again, there's a tablet somewhere that indicates the actual correct order you want to do this. I'm gonna brute force this, in theory. I believe... Alright, well I know which one is first. This was not the most well thought out plan. So there is a tablet somewhere that actually explains what you're supposed to do with that. Let's take a stroll to the hot spring, because why not? And just ever so quickly while I am standing here and making you guys wait. Switch over to that. You sh should see my mouse moving around. That's because I am looking something up quickly. Alright, got the order. Yay. Like I said, not... or not. Like I said in the previous episode, I will be using the wiki. I am not going to be wandering around reading tablets, for the most part. I will read some from time to time, but... I'm going to be skipping out on most of the wandering around. This is going to be more of a walkthrough rather than a blind playthrough like the first one. Where am I going? Get a guidance. A delicious sip of water. So again, a warning, if you don't want spoilers, do not watch this Let's Play series. Go back and watch the first, well, there'll be spoilers in either regardless. And some of the tablets I will just read for the sake of graying them out. I know there are some you have to read later on for puzzle purposes. Um... I was going somewhere with this line of thought. There's gonna be spoilers in either one. The previous one, I for the most part, did without wikiing things. I wikied some stuff, but for the most part it was me wandering around aimlessly trying to figure stuff out. Not doing that this time. All right, one down. Let's try this again. There we go. So this one, and the one below it. You could figure this out just the brute force, brute force method like I was doing. I had figured out the first one, but I just didn't feel like doing that running back and forth 20 times. I need to drop down a platform. I did not need to drop down a platform. Oh well. Oh yeah, speak and just that randomly popped into my head. We have a map. So I got the Yagu map reader, and we found the map already for this area. So combining the two, we are able to see the map. And something somewhere happened. And I'm taking needless damage. Oh, here's the solution to the puzzle. The first age was destroyed by flood, wind, fire, fire falling from the sky. And had the, if the tablets are still here, you could see the fact that that relates to what the tablets look like. There's the puzzle solution. It's not too far away. I just kind of never scanned the skeleton. Oh well. All right, let's go get the Ankh Jewel, and then we're gonna go fight our first boss. And friggin' Zelpa is mailing us again too. Great. Dun dun. Ta da! Ankh Jewel. What Sue Zelpa has to say, a door in the ruins. Blah blah blah, inside the ruins there's a door, but it's a little different from modern doors. Push it with all your strength and it will open. If it does not open, they need to push it from the other side. Doors in the ruins may only open in one direction. Oh, for the love of God, Zelpa. Jewel that shines red. It's me, about Ankh Jewels, those red gems. If you use them in front of those cross like thingies called Ankhs, located here and there in the ruins, you can break the Ankhs. 
Breaking them will make something bad happen, so maybe think about going back to the village to save first. And while you're there, why not come chat with me? In the original, you had to go back to the villages to or back to the village and speak to Zelpud to save the game. You also had to have a certain uh, ROM equipped. In the original, they were ROMs, not software. Uh, I'm not entirely suicidal, so I will teleport back here quickly. Just save for the hell of it. You know, those snakes on the way to the hot spring can get pretty deadly. So let's head over to the hot spring, fill up, and then we will head to the boss of the Guidance Gate, or the Gate of Guidance as it is in this game. No money, sadly. Alright, 64, got plenty of shurikens. Back to the Gate of Guidance. And just a few rooms away lies our doom, defeat, death, whatever you want to call it. I think which is the shortest way to actually get there. Let's yeah, let's go through the shortcut. I think there actually is a shorter way, but I just couldn't think of it offhand, which, like, I couldn't think of the route offhand. Brain did not want to function enough to do it. Or to figure it out. So we're going this way. Doesn't really make a difference, so whatever. Skeleton to pass, I will kill it for the hell of it. I would prefer to not hitting the bat, but whatever. Ah, the first Ankh. The first boss shall emerge momentarily. You can kind of see him on the background. And uh, hell with it. Here we go. Shouldn't be too bad, it's the first boss. He's fairly predictable in his attack patterns. I got sh I have shurikens already. Honestly, I might just be able to tank, kind of tank the flames. See, the attack speed, he's speeding up his attacks a lot. Should, in theory, mean he's about dead. I, too, am about dead, and I am, in fact, dead. Now, if you go back and watch the Amphis Bana video from the first Let's Play episode, it's a pretty easy boss. It's not a very hard boss either on hard mode, evidently. Just the attack patterns kind of overlap very nicely. Now, I could skip this entirely and just come back later with, like, better stuff. I'm sure, like, the chakram and the axe and all that junk will be much more effective than the, the equipment I have currently. But, I want to kill it now. It's a freaking giant snake, I want to kill it. And gravity. So we're going back, one more time. And if I don't beat it this time, there will be a brief, uh, this will be the, ep the Guidance Gate episode, the next episode will be the... Amphis Bane episode, it will be about five minutes long. And the episode after that will be someplace else. Probably the uh, Giant's Mausoleum. Now, I believe if you actually sit around and wait, they will move a little bit closer so that you can hit them with your whip. Maybe not, I don't know. It can be fancy, shoot in both directions. See, but can I lure the snake down further? No. Apparently, yes, I can. I think that's going to be the key to beating this. The key to beating is just going to be not getting hit. But to not get hit, I may have to kind of manipulate where they are and where they're shooting, and they are just shooting like freaking crazy at the moment. And we died again. So like I said, a little bit harder than the original. Perhaps a, leading towards a lot harder. But for now, that's gonna be it for this episode of Let's Play La Mulana. 
Next time we're gonna have a or yeah, next yeah, next time's gonna be a quick little episode just killing Amphisbana. I'm gonna kind of do the bosses probably for the most part individual episodes from this point out. They're gonna get a lot harder as we go through the game. Some of them I may I'm probably not gonna be doing many more of them immediately after like unlocking them. Like Gate of Guidance. I would probably wait until, like I said, I had the axe or something else, and then I'd come back later. There's an item later on that increases the power of your throwing weapons, and with, like, a chakram, I could just annihilate the thing before it has a chance to do anything. But, for this one at least, I want to do kind of at the right time. I'm going to at least attempt the bosses, like, when I could possibly unlock them. And there's going to be some bosses where I'm going to hit a brick wall, and I literally cannot progress forward until I beat the boss. So, we'll see how that ends up turning out with the rest of this Let's Play. For now, thanks for watching. Feel free to comment, rate, and or subscribe, and have a great day.